Hi friends, my name is Teacher Cheryl and this is Green Trike and Play to Learn's Story and Activity Time. This week we are all about the letter V and volcanoes. So we're going to read a story called Volcano Wakes Up. And this is actually a bunch of poems about an imaginary volcano in Hawaii. And it's about the volcano and about the plants that grow alongside the volcano and about the bugs that live there, about a little road that winds its way through the park and about the sun and the moon. And it's a day in the life of the volcano. And then we'll think about that and do a project together. So this is Volcano Wakes Up by Lisa Westberg Peters and illustrated by Steve Jenkins. So the first poem is about the volcano. Volcano. I'm the baby. I'm much smaller than my big sister volcanoes. I'm a little sleepy now, but when I wake up, watch out. I throw nasty tantrums. It always works. I get the most attention. Oh, do you ever scream and yell and throw tantrums to get attention? Or do you know a baby who acts like that? That's kind of what that poem was about. This one is about ferns. We ferns love cool. We ferns love gray. We ferns love the mornings when fire maker sleeps. Who do you think fire maker is? But let's celebrate. Let's uncurl our fiddle heads. Let's stretch out our fronds. Let's hang misty streamers and throw raindrops around. Hey, everyone, come to the caldera. Let's party. My friends are always going to talk about partying. A caldera is where an eruption happens, like where the mountains um, has emptied out some from the lava. Lava flow cricket. Hey, bro, where are you? I know it's early morning, but I have a feeling the big V is going to shake tonight. The wind is going to blow and the lava is going to flow. Call you. See you later. Call me. And these crickets like to eat other bugs that get cooked by the lava when a volcano erupts. The small black road. On this active volcano, I proceed with caution. For earth cracks, I dip. For steep cliffs, I turn. I buckle up for safety. But don't expect to have a nice day. When a volcano erupts, it makes cracks in the road and repaves it. Okay, the sun is talking to the moon. Moon, my friend, you look so pale, or is it just my glare? You should rest and dream for now, but why not meet me later over bread? I'll ask the earth, my baker friend, at noon to bake you something warm. Good morning, moon. I'll see you tonight. And have you often no ever noticed that oftentimes... The moon is going down when the sun is coming up, and the moon is coming up when the sun is going down. All right, volcano. Hey, it's a little quiet around here. It's time to kick up a lot of dust and ash. Time to shake the ground and make a big stink. Watch this, everybody. And the smell that you smell with when things are coming up from inside the earth, which is what's happening during an eruption, is a lot like the smell of, have you ever boiled eggs at your house? That's the smell of sulfur, and that's what you're smelling when something's coming out of the earth a lot of times is the smell of sulfur. Oh, it's the ferns again. Fire maker's awake. She's about to make this caldera a lake of fire and lava. Ah, oh, the party must be over. Put away all the streamers. Say goodbye, honey creepers. But wait, it's not hot yet. It's not even warm yet. What a lucky delay on this beautiful day. Hey, everybody. Let's party. My friends. In these poems, like to party a lot. Lava flow cricket. Hey, bro, I'm way back in the cave. 
I was sleeping hard, but that nasty smell woke me up. P.U. The big V must be cranking up. Where are you? Why now? So the crickets hide in caves when the lava comes out. Small black road. I see a construction zone ahead. Darn, this active volcano is always under construction. Aren't the earth cracks and steep cliffs bad enough? I look both ways for a red hot paving operation. Oh, here comes the lava. And the lava will come down as liquid. And then when it cools off, it gets hard like rock. Sun. My baker friend has just begun. I know because it's noon. I look straight down and see the steam escape her door. By twilight, she'll be finished and moon and I will share a feast. Yes, the bread will be delicious. Do you think that bread really gets baked inside of volcanoes? Or do you think that's a story the sun is telling and a way of thinking about how hot it is? Volcano, look at me! I can fling cinders and ash into the sky. I can huff and chuff and pour rivers of lava down my side. Rain, you can't douse my fire. Wind, you can't blow it out. Fog, you can't hide it. Ferns. Yikes! That was close. A cinder so big and so hot it glowed. We're all going to fry to a crisp and die. No, wait. Fire maker flows, but she's passing us by. We might not burn, at least not tonight. Hey, everybody, come to the crater. Let's party. And the thing about the lava is that it makes really good soil for the ferns to grow. So it's a relationship where they both get good things from what's happening. Lava Flow Cricket. Hey, bro, I'm at the all-you-can-eat all-night hot lava barbecue. The food is excellent. Loads of bugs toasted and roasted by the heat. There you are. Look up. Sweet. No. These crickets like their food cooked, just like you do. Small Black Road. Oh no, this red hot paving operation is giving me a soft shoulder and melting my fresh paint. I need to detour past spatter ramparts and steam vents. Hey, this detour is a great scenic route. I'll have to come again. Moon to Sun. Tonight, my sunny friend, we haven't too much time. I crack the oven door and look, the bread is done. It's hot and holds the oven's glow. Let's have a bite. I hope you dream tonight. And thanks, my friend. I'm full. Volcano. Moon, are you already here? I should go to bed, but I'm wide awake and I'm bigger. I have new layers of lava and cinders. See, are you awake too? See, meaning the ocean. What should we do? I know, I'll send you a ribbon of red lava, a gift. Moon, watch this. So see, this is the way that the mountain keeps growing, is it sends lava down and it gets hard and makes the mountain bigger. And it also goes down into the ocean and cools off and makes the island bigger. This is the way that the islands form. The end. Volcano wakes up. So friend, this story is really interesting because it tells about how when something changes, when something is erupting from a mountain, it can make the island bigger, it can make the soil stronger and more able to support life and it can um, make the mountain bigger and form the islands and give the crickets something to eat. So sometimes when something happens that makes a lot of changes, 
it can also make a lot of good things happen. I thought what we would do is make some lava paint. So this is a couple of scoops of cornstarch. You could use flour or other things to thicken, maybe um, sugar or uh, corn syrup or different things that can thicken things. But I decided that I would try and make some lava with food coloring and cornstarch. Whoa, you know what I just discovered is I need to add some water to this to make it work because I don't think I want to use up my whole bottle of food coloring, but we'll see what color we can make it. I wonder if it's going to be red or pink. I'm going to stir it up and when I'm painting with it, I'm going to think about some things when something changed in my world and made something new grow that was really cool like in the story like the mountain gets bigger and the island gets bigger and it supports the life of the ferns and the crickets so something maybe that changed in my world that I wasn't expecting or that seemed big and intense at the time but made something good happen and maybe you want to think about that while you're painting, if you make some lava paint, because that is often the case. Whoa, look at my lava paint. Let's see. I'm going to pour some of it out and see what it looks like. Let's see. Let's pretend like it's a volcano. <laughs> And the lava is erupting. Wow. I'm going to feel it with my fingers and see. Maybe I want to do some finger painting and make my mountain bigger. Move it around. Look, wow, it, it's a really nice red color. I thought maybe it would turn pink because of all that powder. But it didn't get it. It stayed really nice and red. So cornstarch is a cool thing to use. But you know what's not cool? The paintbrush is not a really good thing to mix it with. So I'm going to use the handle of the paintbrush and pour out some more lava. You ready? And paint with it. Make a lava painting. And then if you do use cornstarch, friends, cornstarch does this cool thing of hardening, just like lava does. Lava hardens after it cools off. Cornstarch, it's not so much about, um, about the temperature of it, it's about the pressure of it, and then about evaporation, about the water kind of um, going up and making vapor. I'm gonna see if I can make some orange lava on top of my red lava because I have noticed that lava comes out in like fire does because that's what it is. It comes out from the middle of the earth, which is, oh, no, it stayed red, which is always, uh, there's a fiery center to the earth, and that's where the lava comes from, up through cracks that are made to. So I just invite you to have fun making some lava paint and painting with it and maybe thinking about times when there have been changes that seemed maybe big and scary at first but have brought good things with them as well wow oh oh i'm getting my uh oh I am getting my um, board very wet. I would say learning from this that maybe what you want to do is find something waterproof or maybe thicker paper to do this project on. But look at my lava. It's not look fun. And I'm going to play with it some more. But I am all done with this ex or with this video. So thank you friends for coming to play and listen to the story and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.